Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light and I pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white lights. Okay. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. It is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled. They are dismantled. Okay. I call back your power. Take back your power. I call back your energy. Take back your energy. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. Let's go ahead and read our opening angel number and message. It's 44 protection, which also sums down to 88, um, which is the number of infinite blessings and abundance from the Most High. It says your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path. With diligence and determination, an even greater success will come in the future. I am supported. So whatever you are working on, Please do not let anyone discourage you to lead you to giving up or anything like that. Believe me, you, if I am telling you to do that with what I'm going through behind the scenes, please, by all means, stay, stay focused on your path, on your journey. Uh, you deserve to have the abundant life, the blessings, um, and you deserve to live a fulfilling life where you are the best version of yourself, Okay. Do not let anyone embed any type of limiting beliefs into you. You are meant to be free, abundant, prosperous, and everything good that you can think of. So please do not let anyone discourage you to give up on your dreams, okay? When people don't have dreams and they don't have uh, the types of callings you have on your life, they'll try to cause stagnation on your path. Uh, when people don't want you to be abundant, they will go out of their way to cause hindrances to you um but if you stay focused on on a positivity stay focused on your path you know your purpose and you are committed to that purpose and committed to fulfilling that purpose you're going to be just a okay as long as you are relying on source to make sure that all of, all of your needs are met um whether it comes to protection security things like that rely on source for all of that do not rely on any human to secure you in life okay so we have the six of source out here let's go ahead and find out what in the name oh <laughs> what in the name of a uh, source is going on in this terror reading um we have uh, um i'm gonna switch these not that it really matters because the message is still gonna come out like it's supposed to anyways um so we have someone that may be taking some type of action to bring truth to to bring the truth to the light. Um, this could be like a king of swords or someone is trying to take action to block a king of swords from having some type of new beginning in relationship, in romance, in life. Um, something like that is going on. There could be someone that's wanting to block a king of swords as well from communicating with you. This is like something going on behind the scenes. I don't know if there was like an investigation going on or something was being looked into, or a king of swords has de decided to separate himself from a group, he may know that he probably won't be having some type of new beginning with you because he did something to cause you some type of hindrance. But someone may be trying to come into your energy or take some type of action to expose the truth about, I don't know, whatever this is. Um, or this could be someone traveling to the king of swords as well to illuminate something to um to them there's something also where i'm getting where it's a distinct of source or whoever this is was wanting to take some type of action to come into your energy and have some type of brand new start with you um but they are realizing that this is not something that's going to be coming into fruition because you know something that they did behind the scenes you are well aware so this person may be trapped in their mind um wanting to tell the truth and confess something to you uh, expose something to you is keeping them trapped in their mind. They feel that when they come to you, you're going to reject them. Um, they may want to have some type of 
relationship with you, but maybe they're finding out that that's not going to be going accordingly. Uh, someone is, I think someone is like, I don't know if you are waking someone's emotional side, Like someone is very stoic, very serious. This is one of those people like you talk about love and maybe in the past they would have they would have been like who has time for that what are you talking about like I'm, I'm trying to work like this is someone that was like all about their business or their position something like that so if you brought up a love topic they would have been looking at you like you had a uh, poop on your face or something like what the heck are you talking about who gives a shit about love like what you what, what do you mean love the f is love right so, but someone has gone through some type of awakening, like you've caused some type of vibration. <laughs> Life is so funny how things happen. Life is so funny. You've caused some type of vibration in this person's heart and even their mind. Like they're seeing life from a different perspective. Um, but they are afraid that you're not going to accept their offer, right? They may be having a hard time, I don't know, either healing, recovering or something. They wanted to have some type of fresh start with you, but they know they cannot come in to deceive you or anything like that. I'm telling you, they cannot come in to deceive you. Like someone knows if they come in your energy and they want to have any type of opportunity with you, they're going to have to come with the truth straightforward, right? The King of Swords is supposed to be someone that's straightforward anywhere, anyways, um, but some type of truth that he he's aware of is keeping him trapped in his mind it's that like he wants to take action to come and talk to you but then like he's he's in his men, his mind is that holding him back he said i don't know if i tell this person are they going to like curse me out are they going to reject me yell at me or something like that um but I, yeah they want to have some type of new beginning with you like they start over brand new but someone took some type of impulsive action in the past either to block block your work cause you some type of stagnation but some of you i don't know if someone was hired to bring balance into a situation and maybe he was bribed or coerced into doing the wrong thing and now he's living with some type of regret yeah he was hired to, to look into the truth expose the truth now that he's seen the truth about all the characters involved and he knows that you were innocent the whole time right yeah he feels kind of i don't for lack of a better word someone feels really stupid for something they did like they're realizing the truth about how he had determined people were to destroy you and he knows that he played a huge role in it right and there may be even there may even be someone trying to block him from moving forward but someone does not have authority over this king of swords like he does things his way he does not answer to anyone he don't care about answering to anyone there could be some woman in his energy that's trying to you know uh, um what is it um kind of playing mental games with him like she's causing some type of illusion. She 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 wants him to work with her, collaborate with her. I don't know, get in a relationship with her. And this is all a plot to keep him from doing the right thing. But he's not going to be working with her. He's not interested in her because he sees the truth. And he sees how, how much of a narcissist this woman is. And he's not interested. Like someone sees someone for exactly who they are. And the person that is pretending to be genuine may have told this masculine that you were the narcissist. So this is like you projecting your negative attributes onto someone else. Um, and it works for a while, but you know, dece deception only goes so far. So at, at, uh, at some point, the truth is always going to come out, spill. The can of worms has been still, uh, spilled. So someone now is trapped in something they cannot get out of. Um, someone is feeling blocked. Like they can't come towards you to defeat you because uh, they can't come towards you to make you an offer because they took some type of action with someone in the past. Okay. So even though he knows the truth, uh, he may want to do the right thing, have some type of new beginning with you, maybe even give you an opportunity, something like that. He's feeling stuck. He's feeling stuck. Okay. He is feeling stuck. 
like he knows what someone did to secure something in their life and that person is going to be losing whatever it is this is like just people taking actions to block someone and they don't realize everything they were doing was really just blocking them and now that everything is unfolding everyone is like stuck in their mind they don't know how things are about to go are they going to jail are they going to be losing their house losing their job something like that is going on here everybody behind the scenes is in some type of mental imprisonment because they don't know how things are about to play out i'm telling you justice is going to be taking place this is coming in the reverse so i'm going to put it in the reverse he does not want to work with these people anymore someone is a bit of a brute you could have a woman here as well some type of wife character that shows up in her masculine energy quite a lot and this is something she does so that she can get things to go in her favor this is like one of those women that plays the masculine in the relationship right um you can't really tell this person that it's hot it's hard to compromise with these kind of women because they i don't know if they were raised like in military settings or something or they were just they just had some type of experience coming up and they feel like they have to be a certain way there's no there's no leniency with them so it's like being in a relationship with another masculine but the masculine is a woman biologically so it's that you're coming home to a man every day and it may someone may find this kind of repulsive now i think in the beginning maybe he thought it was a bit of a turn on he so it's so it has been assertive but for some reason now he's finding it as something repulsive he's turned off by it because there's no compromise with this person this man may not be wanting to work with this woman as well they don't have to be married this could be like also like a mother figure or someone he had a child by that he just does not want to be in uh, any type of connection with right now and she may be trying to keep this masculine stuck with her he does not want to be with her like he's taking actions to make sure that this woman is out of his life. And if they have a child together, since I see the page of cups out here, if they have a child together, he is going to do what he needs to do to make sure that the child is taken care of. If maybe like the child is not even his, someone has been around a child for a long time where he sees the child as his, there's something like that with someone in here. It does not have to be this king of swords. It could be another masculine. But there is something in here going on with a child maybe there's some type of court case going on um there's a mother or wife figure as well that has some type of legal issues coming in and it's not going to go in her favor um someone did something they were not supposed to do this could be like invading someone else's privacy looking into things that have nothing to do with you and this was because they were stern or set on painting someone in a light that just was not fair to them it was misleading this is like a narcissist trying to prove that you're the narcissist this is like a, 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 a an incompetent person trying to prove that you're the incompetent one this is like your bully trying to prove that you're the one bullying them but the whole time they're stalking you bullying you you're not responding to them you may even have blocked this person something like that or you just don't even know this person but some of you you are aware of who these people are with this empress energy out here usually the empress is someone that you have some type of familiarity with it and with um when you see like these cups cars and cars that have to do with emotions and things like that it means that you are more than likely familiar with the characters that are involved in this scenario to some type of extent so this woman this this empress that's in the reverse has issues coming in there's some type of court case that's going to be taking place this could be someone that's absolutely stalking you online right trying to pick fights with you and you're just not responding this would be like one of those uh childish women that'll get in like your comment section right and put comments there and she's waiting for you to respond you'll get into your comment session you'll you'll see the the comments and you'll just be like oh my gosh what a read hard but you're not going to respond you're just going to go past it and say oh lord have mercy i hope you have the day you deserve but i'm not going to respond to your nonsense because you're sounding so immature these are the types of women when they write something they don't understand how immature it looks all they know is that they are giving you a piece of your their mind they're putting you in your place mind you you don't even communicate with this person 
um they really don't you don't have any beef with this person they're the one that they're the ones that have a problem with you so it's that someone is battling themselves they're in some type of one-sided drama and fight competition the whole time is that they don't even exist because they technically technically do not exist in your world so they're going back and forth with themselves someone has been doing something behind the scenes and they're absolutely going to be facing legal issues for that someone has some type of case coming up okay and as i said this could be like a mother figure a wife child's mother whoever this is okay yeah she interfered with someone's work so this is that you're this is like someone going out of their way trying to make sure that you're not uh uplifted you're not receiving any type of recognition for something you're doing this is someone who will be like so envious of another energy that they will compromise your work so that you don't receive any type of uh accol accolades for what you are doing like they don't want people seeing you as someone that's influential they want people to feel like whatever you're doing is not really essential it's not important on a grand scale or any scale at all whether it's a small scale large scale whatever you know and on any level they want to minimize your importance your value and things like that and you know when people go out of the out of their way to do something like that those are insecure people because they don't feel important they don't they need people to validate them um this is why they feel like they not validating your work matters to you when it really your opinion is not worth a penny in your life right it's not worth a penny in your life and you don't care even about the group that's not <laughs> accepting your work or care or like disliking your you don't care what these people think that's the delusional part of, of that's the delusional part karmics don't understand is that they add so much importance to what they think of other people and what other people think of them that they really believe that other people care what they think of them you probably are not that even familiar with this woman you may be aware of her but you don't give two shit what this woman thinks or what this group thinks okay so something you were working on that you're supposed to be abundant in someone interfere with it and it's going to be brought to your attention she may have been trying to get this masculine to think twice about what he's doing it's like think about this how is this going to affect, affect us how is this going to affect the group and he doesn't care about any of that he's going to do the right thing okay he's going to do the right thing you should have thought of that before you went interfering with someone's work i'm telling you you should have thought of that before interfering with someone's work yeah these people are very toxic especially this empress i don't know if she's like the head of this group she considers herself to be like a the leader of this occult this group i don't know if it's on a if it's a coat a clothing or whatever this is you all know that's how i see the devil's car is like an occultist or something like there's some type of clothing like coat like mentality going on so she could be the head of the group or she's the one that's been telling people what to do kind of um out there telling her minions what to do something like that um but these people are about to go through some type of ending there's a woman here in this group that's going through some type of really horrible ending she trapped herself in something this is what they were trying to do is limit your options limit your financial um uh, opportunities um and this is what they are about to be going through someone trapped themselves in something that they cannot get out of meanwhile you're free to move on with your life free to build your businesses free to explore your chances your choices i mean uh your possibilities and things like that options basically you have options um so there's something here going on with some type of duality um it's like there's some type of spiritual battle going on between good and evil obviously you're on the good side but the side of evil i don't even want to call it that the side of darkness whatever it is that makes them feel good whatever title they want to use um there is something going on here where it's like there's a spiritual war going on um and you have a whole group that's trying to destroy you but you have like an angelic energy around you that's very protective of you um these people are having a hard time destroying you and there is also someone you're supposed to be connecting with that they've been trying to destroy or just 
hold back, keep them stuck in something that they don't want to be a part of. There's a whole lot of divine intervention going on here in this situation. It's just really, I don't know, I feel exhausted talking about this. So I feel like everyone in here or a lot of people in this situation feel exhausted as well. It's like mentally draining. And that's exactly how I feel going over this or telling this story. People feel really exhausted. Even this empress in the reverse, the group, whoever that couple is, the occultist couple, whatever, or whoever that is, they feel exhausted. They're tired. Um, they didn't expect things to be drawn out this long, like something was supposed to be done a long time ago, right? But um, it's still going on and someone, a group of people in here may be experiencing like financial setbacks and things like that because of how long something have, has been going. Yeah, like someone has depleted their resources is what I just heard. I don't know if someone went into like their savings account, their child's <laughs> savings account for college tuition or something like that. Someone went into their savings and they've depleted that as well and they're going i don't know if someone is filing for like bankruptcy or something like someone was very committed to destroying another person's path but all they're realizing is that all they did was destroy their own path and it's really crazy that you can you will be this committed to destroying someone else yeah <laughs> that's a special kind of stupid yeah someone is very burdened behind the scenes about the truth being exposed so basically what this is is someone is taking some type of action to bring the truth to your attention or they may be bringing the truth to someone else's attention right about something that was done to interfere with two people coming together someone's finance someone forward movement oh lord it like like the truth is being exposed about a narcissist now this narcissist is stuck in something they cannot get out of they are facing legal issues and things like that there may be like a divorce going on some type of separation a lot of abundance being lost this group may have started off really abundant maybe they used to like get, uh, collect donations and things like that to make things go in their favor but it's come to a point where they can't make donations anymore and this is because I think spirit lets something dra drag out so long that these people's finances will be depleted. They wouldn't be able to make these payments or make these collections anymore, these donations anymore. So now the playing field is even, right? So whereas they used to have access to all of these resources to come after you, they're struggling with resources. Someone's money is trapped somewhere. Like if someone has some type of overseas account, someone has some type of i don't know is that if it's like a, a bank account with a lot of money in there or something something has been frozen someone's bank account is frozen or someone is broke now and they're doing things for they're doing favors for money something like that okay um and this is because people interfere with your livelihood like your money your resources yeah, your opportunities, they interfere a lot with it. So source stepped into even out the playing field. And they're not liking how this is going. I'm telling you, they're burdened. Someone is worried. They don't know what's about to happen, but this is what's about to happen for you, collective. Some of you could be getting married or you're about to partner up with uh, an institution, a community, someone, and you two will be very abundant or you all will be very abundant. There could be like an emperor in here that's putting an end to something. They just know that they may have made a wrong turn in something. And uh, they're trying to bring balance back into a situation because this emperor could be very overwhelmed about how things are going, how things are playing out. Like he didn't expect things to be this bad. Someone may have lost quite a lot. There could be an emperor going through some type of betrayal as well, but he's trying to bring balance yeah, he's trying to bring balance into a situation because there's clarity about what has been going on as well. But even that, he was still participating in this low vibrational energy of an activity. Okay, so let's see how this is going to play out because this is kind of fascinating. I feel like this is the same story that's just kind of continuing. 
um maybe i'm just seeing different sides of a story every day so i think i'm going to start reading my stuff like that is consider it like part of a whole book that just keeps going and this is part of a chapter of the book um yeah so someone was taking action to come in and defeat you but they're not able to because you you didn't do anything to these people someone thought if they told a lie just good enough or long enough that it will change something about your destiny it will make the wheel of fortune go in their favor or something and that's not how it's going there's a king uh, a queen of pentacles as well that could be going through some type of ending this is not you collective this is another energy going on go, uh, behind the scenes that's going through some type of ending she could be experiencing some type of betrayal or just something, some type of karma that she has going on because of something she did to you. Someone really went out of their way to cause a lot of illusions and things like that. And she's being seen for exactly who she is. This is possibly the narcissist that's been trying to defeat you and trying to project onto you all of her negative traits and attributes. Um, but someone took some type of action to come after you and it did not go in their favor. It's like immediately someone took action against you. It led to some type of ending for them or they ended up trapped in something. And some, I'm telling you, yeah, she's going through some type of ending. And some of you warned these people that you may have said something really simple to them. Like, don't do that. It's not going to work out. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Or you may have made some type of prediction, some of you, um, and people didn't take it seriously. But now that they're going through what they're going through, now they're starting to take things seriously. She may even want to come to you and apologize to kind of mend things, smooth things over. Um, but don't trust this woman. There's something very devious about her. There's some Someone has some type of superiority complex where she thinks she's better than people, but she's really not. Uh, someone sees herself as like the better option than another energy, but she's not. Um, so whatever it is that she thinks she's coming in to do to you, with you, whatever, it's not going to go in her favor because someone already chose their destiny. You have to remember every time you make a decision, you're telling the universe, this is what you want to happen. So if you, if you try to block someone's path, you're telling the universe you want your path to be blocked. If you try to honor life someone, you're telling the universe you don't want to be here anymore. You try to cause harm to people's children, you're telling the universe you want your child to be harmed as well. So the universe will always go and bring balance into something. And it's always a fair justice, a fair karma, because that's the energy you were putting out. So you must be saying that you're okay with this happening to you. If you're okay with it happening to someone else, then you are okay with it happening to you, right? You're going to be leaving some type, like someone is about to be set free collective and this is you. Like your life is about to be changed in the right direction for the better, right? So you're about to be getting out of out of some type of stagnation. You may have experienced some type of loss and you're about to have endless possibilities available to you. And this is because of your mindset, how you approach things. So you're going to be getting out into the world and having a lot of different experiences new experiences so that your mind can be broadened and your knowledge right your knowledge that um open mind attitude that you have open heart attitude that you have is going to lead to a lot of abundance for you you may not see it right now but this is your justice right you getting out into the world you being free you standing your ground uh your you have some type of like loyalty energy to you and someone is aware of that and they really cherish that about you and they're going to love that when they're working with you someone is going to be feeling very safe and secure around you when they make an offer to you um or this is how the universe sees you is that you are someone very loyal to your path i'm telling you you're very loyal to your path um, so this is going to lead to a lot of abundance for you. The fact that you are willing to learn, you're willing to expand yourself, expand your horizon. You're not afraid of putting in the work and things like that. This is going to lead to a lot of abundance for you. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to have wish fulfillment in life. Like this message, I feel like this is absolutely the same thing that I've been picking on, the same energy, the plot and things like that. And I'm just seeing different parts of the story. Uh, and this is like 
balance being brought into this situation slowly but surely <laughs> this has been a long time coming <laughs> this has been a long time coming but you are going to have wish fulfillment you're coming out of poverty and whatever kind of poverty that is is different for each and every one of you it could be a mental poverty it could be financial poverty right whatever it is house things like that your living situation you're all coming out of this and you're about to be out into the world having lots and lots of different experiences with people and you will have wish fulfillment this is something people were trying to steal from you um and kind of get away with it but they're not able to your enemies are absolutely disappointed because they weren't able to take you down and destroy you block any type of elevation for you is that whatever actions they were taking to block you um yeah whatever actions they were taking to block you was really just helping you elevate this is like someone trying to block all revenues or aspects or possibilities of you receiving uh, an opportunity be, being presented to you and instead of you kind of throwing in your tower and moping around you decide to see things from a higher perspective and you're like well the universe i guess decided that was not for me and they have something better for me and you're absolutely right that's what they are doing the universe um has something better for you that's why they allow those people to block something or interfere with something because it wasn't meant for you anyways okay so you could have someone in the justice system that's working with like i don't know if they're working with a higher level soulmate or this is who it is uh or this is just your angels working on your behalf to make sure that you come out of some type of situation um in the on the right side like things go in your favor basically right you have wish fulfillment in here right and this is causing a lot of uh hocus pocus a lot of work is for these people behind the scenes because you're the one that still gets to move on you're the one with the authority there could be something going i'm telling you there's something going on here some type of legalities so there could be like a court case going on you don't know about and the court case is going in your favor and that is because of divine intervention so some of you have some type of court case going on that you've never been privy to okay and it has been a long one like someone may have been there there could be like a court case that's been going on for like i don't know a year two years three years some of you five years there's something like that going on but it's going in your favor and this is because of divine intervention and this is going to help you seal onto karma waters right isn't it marvelous how the universe works it is absolutely marvelous in our lives <laughs> yeah um i'm gonna have to get clarity on that nine of knight of pentacles you may have some type of some person excuse me you may have someone from this group now that wants to come in and give you some type of uh commitment i don't know what this is what kind of commitment this is like some type of work opportunity this is like i don't know if a group hired someone to come in and give you a commitment and this person um has ulterior motive of course if you see the people they are uh aligned with these are toxic people right there could be a couple also that's gonna have to pay you some money because of something they did and they've been trying to hide it they're gonna have to compensate you for your loss because they went out of their way trying to destroy you whoever is in this clothing that's coming towards you is not gonna go in their favor they might as well just stay where they are because you are destined to have victory okay so whoever is in this coven that wants to come in and mislead you i don't think yeah they should not even bother they want to come to you and sneak you so they want to come in and make it seem that they're giving you some type of solid commitment remember it's a knight of pentacles commitment that's not even a king of pentacles right um so there's uh, there's something there these kind of people will be the ones that give you something and they're expecting something back in return they're slow to move but when they make an offer to you they're expecting something back in return okay they don't just give freely okay so you need to be very mindful of this when you have someone that comes in your energy um this could be someone also that's very wishy-washy um if it's like the king of pentacles then i would say yeah there's loyalty there i know they showed up here in the upright but because of their association with this 
group here a couple person place thing whatever this is you're giving me the wishy-washy energy which means there's some type of material motive for why this person is coming into your energy it could be that they know you have some type of success coming in and they want to attach themselves to you you may have some type of position that's going to be presented to you and it's going to put you in a very affluent uh affluential uh, um social class whatever it is and this person wants to attach themselves to you and this is why they're coming in to give you this offer so i will be mindful yeah affluence so i will be mindful why this person just be on yeah you see that just be on the lookout this is like someone coming in to give you a commitment just to sneak you in and you this is a plan this is a plot but it's not going to come into fruition like your, your ancestors, your angels are all over this. You don't have anything to fear. You're going to be able to move on to safety, to calmer waters and things like that. Do not live in fear of anything or anyone, okay? You have nothing to fear. Trust your ancestors and your angels to guide and protect you to make sure, yeah, to make sure that things go in your favor. There's someone in here that's going through some type of ending, right? They're, this is what they're plotting. Whatever someone is plotting for you is what they're about to go through. Someone is literally paying, like they're wishing for you to be either on a live, unemployed. Or someone wants you to be let go at your job because they want you in an unstable energy. But as you can see, you are protected. You are secure. So whatever action they do, whatever they're doing, that, that's up to them. Let them do that. But you are secure. You have nothing to worry about. Uh, you're going to get, you're going to be able to move on. You will be protected. You're being, these people are being kept out of your energy, basically. Like they're being kept at a distance. So someone may want to come in and give you an offer just to sneak you. And there's something here about some type of lack of commitment, right? lack of commitment like you you are a hard worker and someone does not want you to be seen as someone as a hard worker like they want to destabilize you and they feel like if they have you in this energy and in this energy where you're like working in vain you're eventually going to give up and just kind of get out of this energy and be someone that's like reckless and things like that that's not how it's gonna go and every time someone takes action they don't realize they're building up their karma they're building up their karma they're building up problems like at this point things are just escalating and getting worse and worse for these people and they don't understand why things are getting worse but they are there's someone in here that's very vain very much of a narcissist and they're so dumb and immature this will be one of the people that will come and say, I've been doing this for six years and nothing has ever happened to me. Well, honey, you've met the right wrong one because something is about to happen to you. You're about to lose everything. And if you haven't already, that's what's about to happen. Like you're about to lose everything and you're going to be exposed and you're going to be uh, humiliated, embarrassed, everything publicly. Someone, when they lose their job, they're going to want a company to keep it hush-hush, but it's not going to be. Like, they're going to want to tell people to spin the narrative and say that maybe they quit. Nah, this company is not going to do that. Someone has caused a company a lot of money, okay? They've been doing something behind the back of an institution, and the institution did not know, and it's going to be exposed. Like, there's a couple, a karmic couple that has a lot of problems coming in, and they don't realize that okay so this is your intentions for you this is like the calm before the storm they may want you to think like everything is okay they've moved on they're not messing with you no they're plotting something behind the scenes your ancestors just want you to stay vigilant they don't want you living in fear but just stay vigilant they are on it they are on it you are secure okay they will make sure that you are protected Law enforcement is involved in here, by the way. Yeah, the law enforcement is involved. Whatever you're supposed to receive, you will. <laughs> this is crazy. Someone did all of this because of their ego. Their ego was bruised. It was bruised heavily. And they, they're feeling to tell people that that's all it is. It's because they're, 
your feelings were hurt or something like that. And it's not like you even did anything to someone. Someone is just like intimidated by you. Yeah, what I said. They don't want you in this energy. They want you to be in this energy, but this is you. You're staying calm. You're still staying calm. Like, like your will is too strong to break. This is why the this is where the problem is. You have very you have a very strong will. And it's like no matter how many people they gather together to come after you, is not working. Your will to survive, live, thrive, and move on is too strong. They've been able to break other people easily, like a twig. Your will to survive is a little too strong for someone in a group of people and it's wearing them thin. But this is just like the beginning of this journey. And they don't realize that. This is just the beginning. As far as like karma, like this is just the beginning for these people. These are people that probably some of them will never stop trying to destroy you. But behind the scenes they will be going through he double heck hockey stick but they're determined to destroy you and they never will be able to this is some type of this is like living under some type of illusion illusion okay this is like, like living under an illusion you've accepted the illusion to be reality that you will have your day where you are going to destroy uh a earth angel a, a star seed you're not you'll always be disappointed every time you try to come after those kind of energies you'll always be disappointed the universe may entertain you and let you get away with one or two things but on, on at the end you're not you're not having success you're not having victory they what they're really doing is letting you undo yourself so if you're someone that's very stable in finances resources and things like that they'll let you undo yourself and this is what has happened to a lot of people in here they've undone themselves okay whatever a king of swords was planning to do he's going to do it someone could have been telling him not to do it but he's going to do it he's taking action but he's like i'm going for it i'm going to do it <laughs> i'm going to <laughs> it's like i'm going to do it he may be the one that's whoosh whoosh whooshing with the letter the information i'm telling you he's going to do it he's going for it he's going for it he said, I'm going to do it. Okay. He's going to bring to your attention something, someone did behind the scenes that you're not aware of, either a mother character, a wife character, baby mama. I don't know who the heck this woman is, but he's going to bring it to your attention. And she may want to come in to give you some type of false friendship. You, you two are not friends. Do not let these people trick you into thinking that they care about you. They don't care about you, honey. You know the truth about the matter. You have foresight about everyone in this situation. Do not let anyone trick you. You know the truth. They know the truth. It is what it is at the end of the day. It was an educational experience that helped you elevate. And that's all it needs to be. But do not retract yourself in life. These people don't care about you. Okay, they don't care about you. They don't even care about themselves or each other, let alone care about you. So be keep that in mind. When anyone from your past or, or any of these people come towards you trying to end trying to uh, end some type of chaos they cause for themselves, trying to act like you two can become friends. I'm telling you, you're moving on. They don't care about you. This is all to kind of smooth things over, reduce their karma, which they cannot. It's set in stone to happen. But this is them hoping that if they come in your energy and extend some type of friendship to you, things are going to be okay. They won't, things won't be as bad as they know it's going to be. It, it's, it's still going to be. Even if you forgive these people, they're still going to experience their karma. Because they already took, they already, they already did too much for things to like just i don't know they they did too much it's too late it's too late okay it is too late but when you move on collective you're going to be elevating like whatever you've been working on is going to be elevate elevating abundance you're going to be prosperous going through some type of promotion and things like that so you will be moving on with your life 
right? And this is what people have been trying to block. Like you're in some type of environment, maybe like a community, and they are invading your privacy in every way, shape, and form. So you don't receive communications about any type of promotions. You're, maybe you're supposed to receive a letter. They're blocking you from receiving that letter. Well, the letter is not going to be mailed. It's going to be brought in person, right? But where you're going to receive it is not where these people are. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's not where they are. Whoever is bringing you information is someone that's very vigilant, very smart. Like they know how these people operate. Someone has been studying a group of people and they know exactly how they operate and they know how you operate as well. So whatever it is they think they're doing to block some type of communication, the real letter has not even been sent. So whatever communications they've been blocking, let them do that. They haven't blocked the real letter. They're not going to be able to. Okay. But whoever this is is bringing you the information. They know these people like the back of their hands. They know them like if, when something happens, they can tell you exactly who did it without being there. That's how good this person knows them. And you know them too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, someone is bringing a tower to these people. Someone is bringing a tower to these people. I've realized you all, like, when I'm channeling, it's so, listen, it is so exhausting. It's so exhausting. So, <sighs> I got to figure out, like, what to do afterwards because I really enjoy doing my tarot videos. Um, So, I got to figure out, like, there are things, there are, like, things that I do afterwards to kind of get my energy back. But it's, like, really so draining. So, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, you're receiving this elevation, this promotion. It's keeping someone trapped in their mind. Like someone is just burdened. I don't know why someone is this burdened about another person receiving an opportunity or a group of people worried about you receiving an opportunity. I don't get it. I don't get it. I've never understood this, this kind of mentality being this focused on another person's life and journey, like being this obsessed with another person. I don't get it. I've tr I'm trying, I'm trying to understand. I don't get it. It's like really tiresome. It's really tiresome. Someone like someone is living, someone is living with a lot of regrets about all of the, the conflict that they caused, the manipulation, everything they did, they are worried about it. Someone is worried about it because they know they have issues coming in. Someone is burdened. She's not getting any sleep and she knows you're going to be receiving an opportunity. She does not know how now to go about blocking this opportunity because she's done everything. She's done her best to pretend to be you. She's done her best to separate you from your friends and families, interfere with connections and things like that. It hasn't worked because you're not someone that cares about how people see, view you, because you already know who you are. People that are truly you, outside influences mean zit to them. It don't mean nothing to them. What outsiders think of them do not mean anything to them. It's a hindrance to them. There are certain people, those stars, they thrive better when they are alone. So people that don't understand that, that will then group together to make you feel like you are excommunicated, you're being rejected. They don't know they're doing you a favor. <laughs> That's <t> <laughs> They don't know they're doing you a favor. They said, oh, thank you. I think better when I'm alone anyway. Oh, thank you. Things go a lot smoother for me when I'm alone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and then if you're a star energy, you already read these people's energy so you know they're not the types of people you need to be around anyways. So you thank them for that, thank them for rejecting you anyways. Man, someone didn't understand that when they started their little mission of interfering with your connections with other people, friendship, 
romantic offers and things like that. She didn't know that. He didn't know that. They're finding that out, that you don't care. You may be a queen of cups energy, but you don't care if people accept your offer or not. You don't care about people accepting your olive branch. Like you see rejection as protection. You're like, well, there's a reason why source is saying it's making you say no to me. So I'm not even going to ask any questions. I'm just going to keep moving on. Someone didn't understand that. They thought if they interfere with your connections with people, whether at work, home, church, school, wherever this is, that you will be brokenhearted. You're not. And she's confused by that. The group is confused by that. This is how all of them were broken into this institution, being isolated. And it worked on them, but it's not working on you. It never was going to work. High priestesses, empresses that are in the upright, star seeds, they don't care about things like that. Like if we have one or two confidants, we're good to go. We, as a matter of fact, we don't like too many people in our energy or space. We're not the types you're going to catch at the club, at the party, hanging out with someone new every day, hanging out with someone every day. No, nah, that's not how we move. <laughs> we see that as a burden. It said, uh, why are you around this long? Like, what's going on? What's, what's wrong with your home? What's going on at your house that you're here this long? <laughs> Yeah, that someone they didn't think about what they were doing because they because something worked on them, they thought it was gonna work on you. This is like a ritual these people do, isolating other people, rejecting other people on purpose so that you can feel like you're not good enough, but it didn't work on you. You're literally thanking these people for rejecting you. I'm telling you, tower. So this is like some type of revelation. I'm telling you, isolation. They wanted to isolate you and make you feel rejected, but you don't feel rejected. They're feeling rejected. This whole institution, they feel rejected by you. Isn't that uh, funny? A whole institution feels rejected by you, but they were the ones that took action to reject you. And they're going through some type of loss. This Queen of Cups is going through losses. This institution is going through a loss, a lot of financial loss. There's a whole lot of hocus pocus going on behind the scenes you're not privy to. You don't need to be privy to it. Just know that your ancestors, your angels are all over it. They're like, oh, we're going to get our just doing this situation. How long did you all think you were going to drag this out? What did you think was going to happen? But what I'm hearing is these people have done this before. It's a ritual. And none of them like each other, by the way. None of them. Not the ones that are married, not the ones that are dating, not the sisters, not the brothers. None of them like each other. Not a single person in this group likes anyone. But their common goal was to destroy you, so they got together. They finally have something in common. We want to destroy a star seed. Grab your pitchforks, folks. Let's go. <laughs> they grabbed their pitch, pitchforks um, and they weren't able to destroy you. So now they're going through endings. Someone may need help and they're not able to receive help. Like an institution is not helping someone. They're like, nah, you got to figure that out. We have bigger problems. Yeah, you got. We have bigger problems to worry about. You made your bed, lay in it. The higher ups in a company do not care what the what these participants are going through because they're the ones that started this madness. So if someone is going through financial issue, there may be issues. They may be reaching out to an institution or someone in the higher ups to assist them. They're not going to assist them. And there's a woman in here that's burdened about some type of relationship a king of cups is about to get into i'm telling you he's moving on he knows the truth about this woman and he's moving on he said i'm out of here folks i have decided to heal i've been healing behind closed doors i've seen what you all have been doing 
This is someone that was healing silently. He went through disappointments, heartbreaks, all kinds of stuff, and he dealt with it behind closed doors. Initially, when he started, he may have been a little open with these people, mm -hmm. trying to tell them what he was going through, what he was trying to do with his life, and they were discouraging him. They were doing things to keep him stuck where he was, trying to keep him in his mind, make him feel like whatever he was doing was stupid. And he stayed on his course, good for him. And now he's moving on. Okay, he's healed. That inner child has come out. He knows the truth now. That whatever he's been a part of is not what's up. Is not. Yeah, he's putting an end to this chapter. This man is moving on. Someone has healed. You may have played a role in someone healing and you didn't know it. Yeah, you didn't know it. He knows the truth now. Something has been illuminated to him. I'm telling you. Something has been illuminated to him. Yeah. How people have been interfering with a love connection. And he's brokenhearted about a decision he made. Someone in here too, you're not, like, this is not a romantic offer or something. This is someone that's married. He's a king of cups. And he did something that he was not supposed to do and he's living in regret like he made some type of decision to interfere i don't know either to bully you interfere with your livelihood interfere with your resources your image your uh, reputation your character something like that someone was playing mental games bullying and now something has been illuminated to him and he's heartbroken about a decision he made some type of choice this could be someone who's like a higher fan, a religious character figure, something like that. And he's he could be going through some type of ending himself. Or he's just living in a lot of regret. That something is eating at someone's heart. But whoever that masculine is is separating himself from these people, honey, he has made a decision. He's moving on. He's moving on. He knows people have been manipulating him about a connection. He knows he's, someone has been manipulating him. I'm telling you. And he's moving on to bring balance in his life. You and this person connecting is your justice. This is your good karma because you two are going to be extremely abundant together. And this masculine knows that now. This is also like someone being interested in you and then all of a sudden, other masculines are competing with him for you the whole time you don't even know you're not interested in anyone really you're not paying attention to anyone maybe you're not focused on love you're focused on your pentacles and things like that focus on your business or whatever this is but someone is coming to make you some type of offer and it is a genuine offer it's a genuine offer now this institution this queen of cups and everyone here going through this tower this is bringing balance into a situation oh honey it was always divinely meant to be this way this is divine intervention for everybody this is balance you know the wheel of fortune is always moving no matter what direction is moving into yeah i'm telling you no matter what direction is moving into, balance is always being brought into a situation. Always. Some of you have people that are obsessed with you, attacking you from different places, neighbors, co-workers, church members, people you don't even know, all taking terms because they know you have some type of light about you they don't have. Your light bothers the demons within them. Yep. Those church folks too. Honey, you should not even be surprised. Sometimes the church folks are the wicked ones. They're more wicked than the ones that are actually in the cult. They're going through endings too. Someone, a couple behind the scenes is being humble. They're being humble. Because whatever they've done, it hasn't hindered a union from coming together. It has not hindered a union from coming together. Now, I'm kind of curious why this two of cups landed over the devil. So, oh, that's what it is. This masculine used to be part of this shenanigans. 
and you awaken him or he went through some type of awakening and now he's healed or he's been doing work to heal now he's coming forward to give you some type of genuine offer of love and or friendship and you two will have success together if you accept the offer from this masculine what i'm also getting is that there's someone that wants to come in and deceive you he's not able to it could be a king of wands do not accept anything from this king of wands he's absolutely impulsive this is one of these people that you meet and he seems very diplomatic tactful well put together but someone is a hot mess that come that net that are beneath the surface he's messy messy like this is someone you meet and you think they're mature they have their shit together and then you get to know them literally maybe like two three weeks later they're getting on your last nerve your last nerves your ancestors last last nerves and they start doing everything to get this person out of your energy because they're so annoying this is someone that manipulates a lot he manipulates this is someone that plays with words he plays people against each other so if he comes in you and this woman are friends and he's interested in both of you he'll do something where he caused some type of drama between the two of you you two start arguing not realizing that you're dealing with the man the same person the whole time like he's dating you and the other woman and you two don't know it and your friendship maybe you two have been friends for five years ten years all of a sudden you two are not friends anymore barely talking it's the masculine this king of wands behind that the whole time someone is a man but he's a gossiper he he he's very like his feminine energy is very loud with how he acts how he behaves someone is like a child very immature a headache so he may want to come he may have wanted i'm being corrected to say he may have wanted to come in and give you some type of superficial offer disingenuine offer of love or friendship just to keep you trapped but he's not able to someone may not have a way to get to you like someone is going through karma more than likely he did something to you before you were not aware of and he's going through karma it is like someone plenty like he he he's been stalking you he find out where you live where you work what time you go to work what time you come home um where you go to grocery shop what days you go to grocery shop how long you're at the grocery store all kinds of stuff honey if you go to the post office on saturday you go to church on sunday bible study on friday whatever this is this man knows everything he has been stalking you he knows who you talk to what you watch on your phone someone is very immature honey so he thought he had the perfect plan to come in and cause some type of pollution and the universe interfered with that by making this person lose access either to transportation or to something he may be going through some type of financial loss and he's not able to come in your energy with that buffoonery someone is a clown on, under under the service but this is someone when you see them they look well put together very well put together you will think they have everything together their finances all kinds of stuff but this person is a mess immature a clown this is like the class clown that just never meant to never managed to mature someone could be like in their 40s their 50s their 30s and they never mature like they were supposed to you could be younger than this person and you're more mature than they'll ever be in this lifetime so just think about that okay so maybe he found out that that king of cups was interested in you and he started competing with the king of cups doing things behind the scenes to interfere with your connection with this king of cups something i'm getting is that you and some of you you and this king of cups was possibly were possibly in the same environment at some point and there were lots and lots of people interfering with you two coming together and this king of wands came in and found out that this king of cups was interested in you and oh lord and behold lo and behold he started doing things yeah this king of cups wanted to give you a solid commitment like they want to have a family with you you see that either way you put it they want to have a commitment with you 
like someone wants to have a solid like their traditional relationship where the man and woman actually care about each other they care about the family front and things like that yeah so there is absolutely a king of wands in here you need to be mindful of and this king of swords i mean king of <laughs> this king of cups may see you as a king of uh, as a queen of swords you're very sharp with your words it may have terrified this person in the past but i think he's realizing now that you are the way you're supposed to be he's appreciating this about you because he knows you don't beat around the bush he does not have to worry about you sugarcoating things, lying to him, manipulating him. You're very direct. And there's something that terrified him before. You may have encountered this person and the way you spoke because you were so direct. He may have thought that you were mean, but I think he's finding out you're not. You're just straightforward with people. There's nothing to hide. And now he understands that, so he may appreciate it a little bit more. I'm telling you, and there there are people burning behind the scenes now because they can no longer deceive this masculine. He's healed. He's healing. Like he knows the truth. Yeah, he knows the truth, and he wants to invest with you. You're investing in your future. Hmm. Lord have mercy. This is like a whole journey of someone's life. Someone has been surrounded by a group of karmic people, karmic family members, and he's freeing himself. You are being free. Like it's like you, you two are going through some type of release from bondage. Your bondage is a little different than his. These are people that this masculine is very close to. He's been around these people for years, years and he's leaving them behind to embark on a new journey someone has like the mentality of the fool now he's being open-minded he's no longer doing things the way he's been taught how to because he knows that does not work it gets you nowhere he's open-minded now someone listen for some of you someone could have been a bit on the our side of things the you know what I mean? The R A C I S T. <laughs> and you may have opened his mind to a different way of living. Like you educated someone without being around them. Maybe they've been watching you, but you open someone's mind. For some of you, you are not with this person in any type of environment, but they came across you in some way, somehow, maybe online. And maybe the content you put out inspires them to change. Someone went through some type of healing behind closed doors, is what I'm hearing. Like it was hard, very hard, but he stayed committed. Yeah. Hmm. And there's a woman, whoever this king, queen of cups is, whatever decision she made is not leading to any type of success for her. Someone is very reckless. Someone does not know how to use their common sense. They don't know how to use their common sense. Maybe they don't have it to use in the first place. Someone did something that was like temporarily fulfilling and she thought that was going, this was going to ensure her victory over you. That she, she was, honey, she was the, the queen, the head honcho. She had figured it out. She had destroyed you. Whatever she did, mm-mm. It didn't secure nothing for her. Whatever this queen of swords did as well, it didn't secure nothing. Like they're all, they all had some type of temporary victory. They may have been paying people behind the scenes to interfere with your success. 
Like if you're supposed to receive something, they pay people to block it. You said, we don't want her being seen in an abundant energy. We don't want this person to know that she's successful. We don't want this person to know that she's educated. She's this, she's that. We need you to keep her down. Keep her stuck. We need you to breadcrumb this person. Someone may have wanted to be generous to you and they blocked that. And he's going through an ending as well. Someone did not follow spirits instructions to do something he's going through an ending someone is going through an ending for just sitting back and watching something and not saying anything all they had to do was say something and they didn't they chose not to so they're going through an ending too everything like i don't and these people are older than you mind you but everything you do or don't do is a choice it's a clear statement it's a message to source every time you are directed to do something and you choose not to do it you are making a clear statement to source so if they tell you hey these people are attacking this person you need to let them know so they can protect themselves or so they can take actions to get out of this situation it's not a healthy situation and someone just chose not to do anything they sat back. They may have even accepted bribery behind the scenes to keep their mouth shut. And they did just that. Pathetic. And this was possibly out of fear. If you have a connection with Source and you trust in God wholeheartedly, you have nothing to fear. You have nothing to fear. You are always protected. They will always make sure things go in your favor. And sometimes it is in the most supernatural way that something will go in your favor. And when it goes in your favor, the people that were attacking you, even they will be astounded. How the heck did you get out of this? And all you will do is point up. You can even point to your heart because God is within. Hmm. But someone sat back and let something play out instead of telling you what was going on. They knew the whole time. Yeah, they knew. They knew the whole time and they chose not to say something. They kept it to themselves. They kept it to themselves. They chose not to say anything. They chose to stay quiet. I'm telling you, they chose to stay quiet. Maybe they thought about telling you. Maybe they plan on telling you, but they waited so long, it's too late now. I'm telling you, they were told to do the right thing. Spirit is down here. Your ancestors are down here. Someone was told to do the right thing. Yeah, and now they're going through an ending. You're going through some type of change. Like balance is being brought into the situation at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it's being brought into the situation. There was a whole plot to end you. And someone knew the whole time. And they did nothing. They said nothing. Someone knew the whole time. Someone you're around, by the way. And I think that's why I'm being, I'm, I keep repeating that. Someone around you, you're very familiar with this person. Whether you work with this person, for this person, in a relationship with this person, was in a relationship with this person, a familiar of yours, honey. They knew this could be an emperor. He knew the whole time that people were coming after you, trying to destroy you, end you, on a live view bring you issues and he said nothing he kept quiet and he's going through an ending and, and there's a queen of swords now putting an end to something because she knows it's not in her favor to keep going forward with it yeah <laughs> she's being practical now people are being practical people are being practical there is like a couple of queen of 
king of pentacles in this situation one is absolutely greedy and has undone himself this will be the person that sat back and let something happen or it could be an emperor that sat back and just let something happen without saying anything and they're all going through endings behind the scenes someone said i was minding my business oh yep you're about to be minding minding your business because you're going to have to figure a whole lot out because you have karma coming in okay someone has been working real hard so this king of pentacles can not have a new beginning with this person some of you you're meant to have some type of new beginning with a king of pentacles he may want to come in take you out something like that present you with an opportunity i will be mindful because there's just too many characters in here for me be mindful someone could have interfered with you being able to move forward so that they will have the opportunity to come in your energy and make you an offer so just be mindful about that be mindful but he wants to present you with an offer. I don't know if this is an offer of love. There goes the emperor coming out. Yeah. An emperor sat back and watched something play out without saying anything. Someone came to him. We're going to call them the angel of death. <laughs> the angel of death came to an emperor and made him a proposition. He said, hey, you see that girl right there? The child of the divine right there, that star see, yeah, 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 okay. So we are doing this to her. She's not dumb. She's not retarded. She knows. She has gifts and abilities, so she knows what we're doing. But we need you to keep your mouth shut. Here's $50,000. Act like you don't know what's going on. If she mentions it, don't say anything. You didn't mention much. He knew the whole time. And now he's losing something. I told you. Whoever he was working with, or uh, if he thought he was going to come in and give you an offer, he was working with these people. It's not happening. Because someone sat back and let something play out. Yeah. And he knew. That high priestess is letting me know that he knew. He knew what a group of people were doing. He knows you are intuitive. He knows you're gifted. You're, you have abilities. He knows. They've given him the rundown about you. He knows. He knows. Yeah, this man knows. And he knows you're in the upright. There are higher ups in this institution or whatever this is. They know of you too. Hmm. Oh, I was gonna put it there and then it if it, it fell and flipped down. Yeah. Whatever has been going on, your ancestors are putting an end to you being hidden. You're not hiding anymore. If they were trying to hide your work, it's not being hidden anymore. If someone was having a hard time finding you, a uh, actual genuine person, they're going to be able to find you. You two will be connecting. I want to see what comes after this four of cups. But whoever this emperor is, he knew what these people were doing. He worked with these people. And he knew your character the whole time. But he still let him do whatever he wanted. He sat back. I don't know if he's now choosing to do the right thing, honey. This message is draining. It's a lot of mental work because these people are exhausting. They find you to be exhausting because they haven't been able to destroy you and you just find them exhausting because of their mentality. All of these projections and nothing nothing came out of it. it never, I'm telling you, it never was meant to come, nothing was meant to come out of it. Whatever they've been trying to hide, whether it's you, your abundance, this connection is not being hidden anymore. It's out here. So you two will be working together. You and whoever you're meant to work with, yeah. You will be working together. What a mess. Like, I think your ancestors have been hiding you. 
until something kind of calm down before they can move you. And I want you to see how this, this here, I always look at the first and the last car in my reads because that's the beginning and end, okay? This was the first car, you moving on. Elevation, and then what's that? Empire, you see that? You get to move on, elevate in life, and build your empire with your partner. You have people working for you and everything. You get to heal, not just emotionally, but spiritually. Like, you're out. So I'm out of here, folks, you and whoever that is. I always, when I'm doing my reads, I always look at the first and the last card because that helps me sum up everything. Like, oh, this is going in their favor. This is what the message is. So at the end of the day, whatever they've been doing in between, you get to move on and have success in life. But you're about to be so abundant there are people in here that are going to wish that we have taken a different route with you. Someone's going to wish they had they have had the balls. They will have had the balls to do the right thing. Someone sees you and they say you have a lot of balls. You could be a woman and they said this sucker has a whole lot of balls. The whole institution was after her and she stood her ground. She said, I'm not backing down. This is what I believe in, and this is what I'm going to stay believing in. This is who I am, and I don't care if you accept it or not. These people in here, most of them, as soon as some type of trouble comes in, they fickle away, they wither away. And these are people that say they believe in God and they trust God. These are people that believe in one thing on the surface, and behind closed doors, they believe in something else. Or these are people whose faith wither at. All you have to do is blow at them and they wither away. Meanwhile, they've all gathered the troops to come after you, dismantle you in every way, shape, and form. And you still kept going forward. You stood your ground. You said, I may be alone in the flesh, but behind the scenes, honey, in the spirit, I'm not alone. You all obviously don't know who the heck you're messing with. And when you said that, they took that as, oh, this person has a lot of ego. We need to humble them. The Most High said, oh, no, no, you're not going to be humbling everyone. We're putting an end to this. They know who they are. That's why they're telling you that. You don't know who you are. That's why you think that's a narcissist. That's not a narcissist. That's a sarcy. And what they're telling you is, they believe in me to balance things out for them. That's what that is. The will. Okay? That's all you are doing. When you are assertive within yourself, when you have boundaries and you have self-respect, you stand for something and you stick to it, people have a problem with you because these are people that don't have any of those characteristics. They don't stand for nothing. They don't have character. They don't uh, 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 have boundaries. None of that. They're not assertive like they think they are. You know, like you meet some women, some men, they're all loud and obnoxious and stuff. And this, they're, they're, they're delusional enough to believe that that's being assertive. And then they meet you. You're all calm and quiet, collect. You don't go rah, rah, rah in about everything people say or do to you. They'll see you because they're delusional. And on heal, they live under some type of a cloud, cloud, cloudy, cloudy illusion of confidence. <laughs> They'll say, oh, that's a pushover. We can do whatever we want to them. But no, you're just tactical and diplomatic. You don't need to scoop to people level to get your point across. So they'll deem you as weak until they F around and find out. And this is what's going on with these people. They F around and find out. Confident people never have to announce their confidence. Elegant people never have to announce their elegance. A queen never has to announce her presence. When she enters a room, people know who she is. A high priestess never has to tell you they are a high priestess. An empress never has to tell you they are an empress. Again, when they enter a room or a space, 
their energy will tell you who they are. And I don't care how much someone masks their energy, you will always tell. If you are someone with at least two senses, you can tell if the person is authentic. Source, what is your okay? What is your advice to us? What would you like us to be aware of? Please give me a third card. Thank you. Love you, Source. Love you. Love you, ancestors, guardian angels. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Long time. <laughs> okay, so we have zero. Fresh start, new beginnings, right? This is the fool. You're stepping out on faith, hope, trusting the most high, right? You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. I am a creator. Thank you. Four, protection, security, right? You are a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook Keeps, your keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. I am confident. Thank you. I was talking about confidence, assertive assertiveness, right? 14.5, right? Um, which usually has to do with you working, working hard towards something, right? Learning and things like that. You are open-minded and always up to try something new. Yet, you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. I am practical. Thank you. With that said, thank you, folks, for watching. I will see you in my next read, and goodbye for now.